Hello there, and uh, this video here is going to be all about getting those uh, awesome uh, you know units and then nights that you want at the start of the game and farming for those nice and easily after this last update where they nerfed everything like you know the oxygen oxygen collectors uh, they still don't work and uh, you can't buy oxygen anymore so there goes your catalyst on your refiners and you can't refine chromatic metal and like copper together and double it up anymore it just goes back and forth you're not going to gain any money so building your base is kind of a uh, too slow to actually make money we want to make money fast and this is stuff you can do right at the start of the game because one of the first quests you get is to come to this outlaw station and the worst that you have to do is fight a battle against three pirates and that's pretty easy you might not only have to recharge your shields one time on your ship if at all uh, but uh, after that uh, you can get to one of these bases here you can start doing the first thing if that's what you want to do but the main thing you want to do is do the sentinel fight and get to those planets right away but you can come over here and this is one of the first you can do so we're going to talk about getting those nanites first because that's the next step you you do after you have all those credits and you're good to go just talk to the contraband guy right here and you can buy his stuff and then the more of these uh, outlaw systems you have the better you're going to be off because you can work back and forth them these illegal goods right here uh, they sell for in the uh, regular systems they sell for like 150 percent profit so even if you have just a little bit of money you can start you know doubling up on your money right away buying this stuff right here but how you get the and you know earning all, all that extra uh, easy cash at the start if you need to have a problem buying those uh, shield rechargers uh, like this you can buy shield uh, char batteries for your ship. They're recharging right there, and they're pretty cheap. So you're not going to have a problem buying them if you have these stations. And these guys restock real fast. But to make your nanites, is you got to buy these two things right here. You're going to buy all the suspicious packets that you can uh, for your tech and your arms. So you buy these things right here. These guys restock. Go to other stations like this, and they restock. And you can stack up on those. And once you open them, you get uh, those uh, upgrade units uh, that are random, basically. They're random, uh, you know, exosuit upgrades or starship upgrades and stuff like that that you get. They're, you know, these type here. Like, going to be like class X or whatever and they're going to be random but they're worth 300 uh, nanites you, you should, I think your average is around 400 nanites uh, per and uh, if you have a couple of these you can stack on there like I go around there and I collect uh, 40 of those things and I sell them all off and I make uh, 20,000 K in credits you know 20 K uh, 20 K in credits it's by going to this guy over here and then you sell them all off so that's how simple it is you don't need a demonstration of that you just buy those units open them up and then sell the stuff and that's how you get so much nanites uh, that's how I upgraded my ship to S class and all that kind of stuff and uh, way to go and then you're good to go yeah that reminds me getting all those units you saw i had like 500k i just did another batch of uh, of selling those ships and this is what you can look at doing farming for a you know just a you know a couple hours or so because it only takes after you get used to it it's only going to take you like 10 minutes to do this and where is that item where are you hiding buddy you're in here somewhere I can know you're at the start. Oh, there you are, right there. Ship, ship salvage. I kept the biggest one right here, and as you can see right here, at 360 million almost. So let's go ahead and sell those and uh, watch our units go flying up. There we go. Now we have almost 1 billion units, uh, and then you want to make that kind of cash at the start again. Well, at the start of the game, well, let's get started on that. Uh, and what you have to do is basically you have to go in there and pick a fight with somebody. I would go like to any regular system. You can't do it in an outlaw system because the freighters don't fight back and you don't get any aggro on the sentinels because there's none, none hanging around uh, but all you gotta do is like hit, hit something on a planet fly into space uh, find a freighter in space and uh, take its, uh, its uh, cargo which is what I would do I'd go to space and take someone's cargo as long as it's a big cargo ship you're not gonna get any aggro and a bad rep basically on on that faction for taking one cargo thing off of them so just go ahead and do that take something that's gonna upgrade your freighter that you're gonna get uh, uh, for freighter space if you want to spend some time picking and choosing but yeah just get the, your sentinels after you do the sentinel fights um it's, it's the first couple is gonna be pretty easy the first uh, one star you get is one fight is one ship then you're gonna go against a fight two and, and if you're using your basic starter ship you're gonna have to recharge your shields after the first fight and then recharge it after every kill and then the third star is like three ships and then the fourth is going to be four and then the fifth one is going to be another four ships you got to kill then the big and the big sentinel ship uh they keep being it's big freighter type thing you can go kill that thing right there that's an easy kill but fighting those four guys it might be a little hectic for you but you can do it on the first starter ship and that's what I did, and I'm not very good at, the, uh, at that combat. I just had a lot of, uh, you know, of uh, sodium nitrate with me and some shield rechargers to recharge it. Because in that fight there, you're going to have to, you know, you spam a shield recharge before you even get your first kill. Uh, then, but you're going to get there down there eventually. You're going to use two for the first two guys, and then you're going to use maybe two for the third one, and then another one. As long as you have a lot of sh uh, stuff to recharge your shields, uh, you can just keep spamming that, and eventually you'll go. And the capital ship is easy to fight because you can outrange it basically, right? 
So you can outrange its guns, shoot its guns, and then take you know your 10 minutes shooting it with your little pew pew la lasers that you have at the start of the game. It can be done. It just might take a little bit of time. And then once you get that, you're going to get the coordinates to go to a planet, one of the new planets on here, and let's go there right now because uh, we don't. I don't need to show you that fight. It's going to take more time than it actually is explaining it uh, like this. So let's go over here to um, one of these uh, little places right here. Which one is it? A uh, 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 tool? Yeah, we'll just go to this one right here. Well, we'll take that one. Section two. I I, I drained out my first base of uh, uh, the first planet. I found of all their ships, so I had to go to another planet. It takes about a one week to find them to respawn, but uh, these Sentinel ships, you, you can find at least 10 of them or more on a planet over and over again. So the, the, just to get that first item is to find the planet that they're on to make it easy. You don't have to do that. You can uh, rent, you can search around randomly and you might be able to find one of these planets automatically and then you don't really have to do that event to search for the, your ship anymore. You can find one of the new uh, abandoned uh, uh, old uh, towns basically I guess they might be called. I don't know the proper names for it is. But there is an item you can find that you double you, you, you uh, you can use on these planets that will bring it to one of these places right here. And as you see, I put a little base right here. Uh, just a t simple teleporter. Where is my? I mean, where's my teleporter go? It's hiding. Oh, that's weird. Where did my teleporter go? Oh, oh well, I was able to teleport here. Uh, that's kind of weird. Uh, it's hiding. Maybe it's not showing up on the graphics or. Ah, that's a weird bug. Anyways, you get to one of these places right here. Uh, there, you can recognize it from space. You can even, if you find one of these places, you can just uh, go around slowly looking for them and land on it. But this is what you're looking for. It has a little multi-tool right here, which I took out of the casing. And you have a little puzzle right here. And if you can uh, get on planet, you can find one of these ships. And uh, you will, you might get the item right away to come over here and do that. Yeah, it's a nice big crab. But anyways, uh, once we do that, um, we'll show you the ship. I'm kind of going backwards on the directions that you might take because you'll get the item to come to this planet. Uh, the planet will will give you directions on your first ship that you find. It'll give you your first Sentinel ship. And each one of these is worth uh, like, you know, uh, 40 to 50 million in scrap value uh, just for finding them and taking them and claiming them. And that's all you got to do is claim them and you're good to go. That's a big moth butterfly. I just got it out. But anyways, um, you can come this. To, after you do that, the first one, you're going to want to come over here and find one of these towns right here, these abandoned towns, and uh, where the multi-tools are. And you want to spam these guys out there. And it's pretty easy to do. There's a guy, so I'll show you these guys that you got to kill. And the, the quest, it shows you themselves. you got to kill the, one of these guys out here to get one of the items. Oh, yeah, it's on my starship. It's one of these items right here to get the inverted mirror. It gives you the quest. It'll show you on your little, little thing right here that, you know, call over here, and there it is right over there. There's the closest one. It'll target it for you. And uh, those are the guys you got to kill for that random uh, drop and it's you know like a 20 percent chance of it dropping so you're not going to get it all the time but you can kill them in space uh, from your ship but you'll get, still get aggro on them they are corrupted sentinels after all so but they will get you but you come in over to this interface this is how you use it uh, so you don't have to go look up this kind of stuff right here it has um at the start of it i don't have it right here because i already did it you don't have to do it again but to remove all the, the sealed and find another spike which is what we're going to be doing to farm our ships uh but it gives you a little thing to search. You search the code. And it gives you three little equations. You just take those numbers from those equations, and then you pump it into the system, and it'll have like all the uh, glyphs that you have for teleporting, and it ha they're all numbered. So if the total is like you know five, twelve, and sixteen, you just go five and twelve and sixteen. You pump it in. I don't think the order matters as long as you get those symbols in there. You, you pump those equations in, and then it will unlock. And then this is what you see right here. You can move the seal on the on your multi tool, which will respawn after a couple days, and then you can do this right here. Just do this, and it'll search the planet for a spike and that is one of the crash ships that we're going to be farming you claim it and of course you can hold up the 12 uh, ships right there and of course if you're starting like i did and i had a crappy ship uh, you settle for an a i haven't really found an s class s class ships are basically for other galaxies that once you have all that stuff going on there but yeah uh, that's it that's the symbol you're going to find when you have that item that you use from space is right there and you're going to use that right there so let's go over there and uh, check out that ship it's really this simple uh we're going to come over there and i'll show you uh claiming your first ship that you find and as that's what the item you can find or you can do it the other way uh we have to go a little bit higher and uh go around it's a little bit far away. Uh, I already got some of the ones that were closer to me on this planet. So uh, usually they get the closest ones right away. Okay, that didn't matter. We'll just jump in there and then take a look at this little spike coordinates. You got to do a little bit of a questing uh, to get this stuff. It's just collecting three different items, basically. And it shows you how to do that the first time. And then after that, you can farm them up as you want. And it's just that one little thing you got to do at the end. And there's some little things right there that you can shoot. I'm going to shoot them from here. 
Yeah, I got that one. That was still one of the ingredients, and these things don't want to get uh, take damage and die. So you got land for those. You got to take those things. You need three of those little these things right here, which are easy to find. They're all over these planets, uh, so that's not going to be an issue for you. But here is a ship right here, which is already gone. I already took this ship. Oh, okay, that sucks. So there's no ship here because I already got it. Uh, that that sucks. It came into the ones I already farmed already. I thought I did this so I don't have to farm it. Um, so yeah. Well, that blows. I wonder. It's probably going to bring me back back to this place again if I do it again. So let's let's find out. Uh, let's go back to that base. Come on, turn, you stupid turning ship. Uh, we'll do this real quick and go back to this base. Maybe I'm on the wrong planet. It should be the right planet. Well, I, no, the other one is a, yeah, sh the ship place I didn't get rid of yet. So let's try again. Because uh, that's one of the things that happens if you don't do it all together at once. Uh, it's going to maybe reset to its first value. And if the ship is already gone, it's not going to work as well. So you probably want to do like all your ships that you can at once. Uh, let's go and take a look at this. Let's go and do another spike. And hopefully it doesn't go to the same place as it did right there. Because that would just waste more time. I don't want to do that. So if it's like basically straight ahead from what I'm looking at, it's going to be the same one. And uh, that's going to suck for everybody don't be don't go to the same one again that looks like it's the same one again I'll go I'll go scope it out and see if the ship is there and we'll find out Here's, I parked my ship way and landed up way over there go faster they really need a run speed increase I don't care hit a rock go for it Planetary in interference. Am I on the? I'm not in the moon, am I? If I was on the, my other moon planet, that would make sense. This is the same one. No, there it's a different one. Haha, <laughs> there you go. So it is going in order. So yeah, um, that's how you, that does work like that. So there you go. So I don't have to start over again. I <laughs> got one. It just took a little bit longer than expected. But yeah, this is the next one here. It's, this was just a class C, 65 million. It's got lots of slots in it. So yeah, I can scrap this one for a nice good 40 million and collect that right there. And always go and check out these little things right here because you never know what they're going to have. I might have been here before. Nope. And this is just scrap. But sometimes you can get like a 10 like walker brains and stuff like that and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, it does this. And you can feed it some stuff and see it's code and I don't worry about that right now but yeah you just come in here you check out your ship and we'll just come over here and take it and you just get rid of all this stuff come on I'm hitting the X button there's the little brain you got to get and then you got to click on this right here so I already have the uh, the radiant shards and the inverted mirrors and the inverted mirror guys are the ones that you're going to want you're going to get for that item to find those towns and we can uh, show you that too so now that I got that it gives you directions to uh, uh, make that brain that you just picked up passive oh, that's my wrong ship I don't like that. I like my cell ship better but we're gonna go over there and check out that and we're gonna unlock him so let's go over there and do that now uh, where is it there you're pretty close by where is it? I was just here. Oh yeah, I didn't scan that yet. <laughs> Stupid me. Doing this so long I forget to scan the brain. There you go. You gotta just go to inventory, scan the brain, and then I'll give you the directions. <laughs> yeah. Missing up on the small stuff. And there's the other directions. It keeps the other thing pinned for you. Uh, so you're good to go. So you just fly over to here um, and uh, do that. So we'll go up a little bit higher. That way, I don't know. And we land. And it's one. It's these things right here. There you go. Oh, this one. This one's bugged. Uh, I gotta love the. I love that when they do stuff like that. Put it inside. Uh, inside rock and stuff like that. But let's go in there and take it. And we can go over there and collect some of these things right here. Is this buried inside there? Yeah, it's buried totally inside there. Let's let's go and dig it out. Come on, there you go. Here's the little interface right here. I won't worry about digging out the other stuff for you. <laughs> it takes a little bit of time. But it's just come in here and then you just click on the present the brain and then blah, blah, blah. They give you your little brain and that's your brain that's a, a docile brain now for your system and you got your ship. Now you just claim it and it's yours and then you can go there to the space station and sell it or keep it for yourself if it's a good one like a class A or something. There's a guy right there. Uh, those are the guys you got to kill and uh, the other uh, uh, quadrupad guys, uh, corrupted quadrupad guys will also give you that item. But yeah, Oh, there's one right there. So um, it's a chance. It's a small chance. It's like 20, 25% chance. And you can kill these guys with your ship from space. Um, if my guns will actually hit them. 
There you go. And you get some aggro, of course. I guess you've gone in first person. I should go up a little bit higher so I can shoot down. Hey, he died. I got the items. And there's that guy right there. So there's an inverted mirror. I didn't get the drop. And that guy is dead now. It's really hard to, hard to see it. So I could land and pick that up, but uh, it will give you the inverted mirror off of the uh, draw, off of the kill. So we got the aggro. We could ignore the aggro for now. We're going to look for more of these guys. Uh, they'll be recognized uh, on your map, uh, but you'll be able to see them on your map. And of course, if you're, start you're using the starter ship, you're not going to have enough shields to so just ignore these sentinels too much. But you know how to get rid of aggro by now. Just land and dig a hole or fly into space and summon the anomaly, and then you're good to go. So we're just, you know, just fly around slowly. Uh, look for those guys. Uh, you can look for the purple symbols on your little radar type thing. Not that, that purple symbol. That's for those crystals that you need that are all over the place. But the other purple symbol and these guys are spread out relatively far apart uh, in certain areas of these maps right here we can look for them and try and find them maybe we should go up a little bit higher and look down but you can't go too fast um, I'm just going to find like one more I'm just not getting any uh, luck on this RNG stuff as usual but you'll be able to find them if you can scan around where are they where are you, buddy? There's one. There. See, they're, they're kind of hard to see, and there's another one right above it, so we can kill these both. I'll be, I'll be far enough away. Get out of my way, Sentinel. I want to kill this guy. There you go. Dead. Eventually, hey, stop pushing. I know you want to shoot at me and stuff. And there it is, the echolocator device. So you can use these things right here uh, in the inventory, and that will scout out one of those towns. But uh, since I already have a couple, it, it will scout out the closest town, basically. And if you already have it done, it's going to go to that one there. So let's go claim the ship and end the video so you can see it done. Oh, there it is right there. As I totally ignore these guys, because if I kill them, they're going to have, have even more stars, and I don't want that. Let's just go over here and take our time and get over there. You can look around. So it is, you know, they are that simple. You can jump down and shoot them yourself uh, with, you know, your shotgun type of thing and blow them up. They don't, those things there, they don't fight back, but all those sentinels, they do. And they can be annoying because they're always going to be aggroed uh, at you for, you know, killing them all. But yeah. And we'll go back to the ship. Land her up. Take it. Yeah, I don't really care. At this point, I don't respect these guys too much. So you just come in here. Go over here, click on this. I got the brain. It's now my ship. You compare it. Take a look. I just got all this stuff on here. I can, you know, the take. And it's not, it's not as good as mine, obviously. But you just claim the ship. It's now mine. Thank you very much. And it started off. Hey, Eddie. Oh, don't target me like that. Where's my scatter blaster? Okay, there you go. This thing fires too fast. <laughs> Stun you, shoot you. Hey, hey, no that. Where's my poking device? Ah, whatever, screw it. Uh, you don't need to see this fight. Let's just go to my, uh, where's my ship? There he's up there. You don't need to see that. Yeah, these guys are tough and they're a pain in the ass to kill. And all these sentinels keep respawning and healing, so yeah. Yeah, do it from space. Yeah, you want to fight me? I'll just, I could shotgun you and hit the wrong button all the time. And or I could just go into space and do that to you. With that gun, make it easy. <laughs> But yeah, just uh, you don't want to drop your ego. You could uh, dig yourself a hole or just fly into space and then, you know, summon that anomaly. Where are you? Get over here. Oh. There you go. Oh no, and then, and so there's just one, one. Now you're in space, it's just one star. I don't know why. They're not corrupted sentinels in space, but uh, it's a little bit odd. But you just go in here and your land and your egg grows gone. And you can warp back to your base and uh, sell your ship and uh, keep repeating. You can go back to that, that town I was at right there and do another scan and uh, find another spike and keep on going and collecting all the ships on the planet and sell them. And it's that simple to keep collecting all of the... Uh, of those these ships until you get the, you know the class A that you like with a lot of space on there and then keep that one for yourself to upgrade like I did and then you'll be good to go because once you have one of these ships right here the combat is going to be a lot easier to do and then you're going to have a way to to buy all the upgrades and nanites that you want right off the bat that's the first thing you can do is just as soon as you get all the, the first cash in and you have like 44 million sitting there you can start warping around uh, with that with with your ship and uh, I would do it twice just get, a, get one for yourself even if it's crappy just to get all the upgrades that you can have for later on and then you can warp around to the other places as you see fit uh, and enjoy the game and then do what you want to do uh, so thanks for watching and I will uh, see you later